Hey all, welcome to the Jungle Anji story. So this is all about a fantasy game. These kids just found a game and started playing it and all kinds of things started happening. So let's go ahead and find out what the things are. I forgot the speed potion. Um, I think a 4 hour should suffice, just 5 locations. So this story was originally released in 2018 and it's being given for free in 2020. So one of the first things that happened is Ghost came out and the kids are so brave that they just blocked the ghosts and then some snow and the kids are again smart to light a fire there and the kids are very determined to finish the game so let's go ahead and play with them and have some fun see what kind of weird things happen here is the game and that's how they throw the dice, that's how the pieces move. Mm. Not sure what that means. Okay, fire of course. So, the fix for the fire is in the basement. Okay, so let's proceed. Here is the basement. So we have to build these pipelines and then they will probably draw some water and fix the fire. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I will need to place the corner ones first because if I place the outer ones then I cannot go inside at all. Well, there are too many pipelines and what I don't like about these is the time it takes. One of the more recent variations of these, uh, there we just rotate the pipelines. So that is much better. Here it doesn't make really any sense because we are just dragging the pipes on lines that are already drawn for us this is a little fun if the space is less there are not a lot of moves possible then it becomes a real challenge to place these pipes but in this case we have a lot of space and we can freely move things around so this is not fun just some time consuming activity to me personally but some of these are also needed because if it's just digging and digging then the play time becomes too less well with that said we are done with the pipes and this should fix the fire upstairs but I am going to get the treasure part here first Some backs to move but unlikely it will be a bonus because 
there are only a few places the bags can go. This is what I was talking about really in the pipeline section. There space is less, we have to move carefully and make our way to the treasure. So this is little fun. Alright, first treasure part is also here. Let's go back up then. Fires are fixed. And we are moving to the bedroom to play further. The first one is a really small location with just 289 tiles. Let's see what happens now. Some insects maybe. Yes, I guess right. And those are rags he uses the chairs. So that would really freak me out. Um, what's next? Repellent from room. Which is her room now? Hmm, I don't see a room here. Okay, here is one room. I don't know how I missed that one. This is the repellent most probably. And we have got six of it though. So there are some six spiders. Alright, let's return. There are some other cats in the way. So we are going to access these rooms later. But we got to do some things before we get there. Alright, get, let's get rid of the spiders and continue with the game. Well, the digging wave does not work on these spiders. I will have to tap each one of them. Anything but more insects. So what does she want? Some tigers? Boy who was missing is ready to be flung. Mm, a new boy. Okay, he appeared out of nowhere. Let's see what he wants. Okay, so the game is really spooky. Once you start playing it, you cannot stop. But Tiggy can't leave it at that. We will have to find some way to stop these. The animations takes a lot of time in this event. You have to watch them throw the dice, watch the pawns move. Okay, I talked tigers, but here comes a lion. So anything but insects, take a lion. So we have to climb the attic now, that's the plan. Which way is it? 
I think there was another cat in this room which has now moved so this way is the attic the lion is following us so we better be fast technically it will not follow us until the game moves further so you don't really need to play the game fast Okay, mm, there are still some more tiles here. So, although a small location, this is taking a significant time. This third guy is joining us in playing. And now he's throwing the dice. So there are a total of three pawns. And if I remember correctly from 2018, that's all. No more players will join us. Uh, what just happened? Five scissors. We have to cut out these plants here. That should be it, I think. Behind the plants is our PT. So we got to free her. We have to throw the rice once more. So these here must be the final ones. Let's see what happens on this one. Four bananas, every pair. Oh, that sounds like some monkeys. Uh oh, uh, he turned into a monkey. Wow. And some more monkeys are also coming. And they took him away. Wow. So I think that would be it for this quest. Yes, that's it. In the next quest, we are going to find Pete, free him, turn him into a human again, maybe. Uh, I like it, but I mistakenly pressed, does not like. Anyway, we can rectify it later. For now, I guess that's it. Few more tiles and we should be done. There were less so it was hard to miss anything at all. So thank you for watching. See you in the next one.